Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Nino Kuni. Today we're going to the inn because we need to sleep. And then we need to figure out what the cow lifter looks like. I'm assuming this thief dude's gonna be the key to that. And then we, we gotta go to my world to find the soulmate that's conveniently in my town. Unless we're actually gonna be able to travel elsewhere in the real, real world. Or my world. Probably shouldn't call it the real world, but I'm still under the impression that this world's not exactly real. So, uh, let's go ahead and sleep, I guess. Hi. Welcome to the Palace of Pampering, the cream of Cat's Cradle establishment. Bullshit. Oh my, I, I must apologize. Oh, oh, please, you must excuse me. Is it finished? Is it, it is really the paint finished? Is scarcely dry, but it is completed at last. Oh, how I long to see it! Now, please oh. hang it over here. Isn't that the artist who? Yes, it is. I wonder how his picture turned out. Probably like shit. At last, the grand unveiling. Oh, my beloved cow leafa. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> Esther, your nose looks like a cow's. A cow leafa. That's fancy. It's not every day you get compared to royalty. Now feast your eyes upon the divine beauty oh, of her most my. admired oh, majesty. Huh? <laughs> but that's... Am I aunt? It's not a cow? Also, Esther, I was joking. Oh, it's divine, truly divine. Her matchless beauty takes one breath away. Are you pleased with it? Please, why? It would... It's worth thrice what I promised to pay you for it. By the beards of the mighty, truly? You're actually gonna pay me three times its worth? But we shook upon it, so did we not- Oh, you're an ass. I see. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, yeah? I don't look anything like her! Huh? You said I looked like her! You misunderstood. You understand, young lady? This is not a picture of you, merely- Mr. Mr. Drippy, she's gonna kill him! Uh, what is it, man? This is just getting interesting. We need to go to Motorville right away. I just didn't realize who we need to see. Ah, uh, you did? I sure did. It's Miss Lila, the Calypso soulmate. I just know it's her. She is. Of course she is. That's cl that's clever of you, old boy. Wait, is is that my aunt, or is that the cat's owner, or are they both the same person? Hey Esther, are you done killing him yet? Huh? I look absolutely nothing like her. I I agree. Do I look that fat to you? I'm not fat! Uh, you, you still seem kind of angry. What do you mean? I'm not angry! I'm furious! Oh, and I'm the six foot flipping f uh, six. Looks like we best leave her at it. I guess we should. Dog, you are... not good at comparing people, are you? The noses don't even look anywhere... the same, nor the chin. You're also kind of an asshole. All right, cool. I mean, I'm not saying like you can't find her attractive, but honestly, it's like it looks nothing like Esther, like at all. I know it's supposed to be like a joke, right? Esther's supposed to be like, you know, a pretty skinny girl. She's a fat, not very attractive queen. I get it, you know, I get it. I grew up in the like 80s and 90s. I have a plethora of yo mama jokes that swim in my head at all times. So like I you know I get I get the humor. But I don't know, it's it, it literally looks nothing like Esther, so I don't know what the hell they're trying to go with there. And I do see the horn, so she is a cow. You compared Esther to a cow person. That's kinda rude. But also, you compared my aunt to a cow person, which is also extremely rude. Are you, wait, are you my aunt? You're not my aunt? Oh, Lila's milk bar. Drip, drippy, what the hell, man? Oh, the door's closed. Esther, what are you doing here? I didn't know we could take Esther from the, her world to ours. Looks like the shop ain't open yet. I guess if Drippy can be here, can they see her? Sure, if we wait here, she'll be long soon. Along soon, it's time to open up already. Someone's coming! Oh my God, it's me! Oh, Myrtle, hi. How are you? Feeling better? 
I am, and it's all thanks to you, Oliver. What are you doing here? Do you need something from the store? Wait a minute. A minute. Wait, wait a moment. I'll just open up for you. Do you work here now? Who's this girl? I feel like she's exactly like me. Uh, like you know her somehow? Yes, and she looks just like me. If I touch her, will I melt? It looks like she's a long-lost twin or something. She looks much more like me than that stupid Calypta. Uh, how could she not... Can, can you not see me or something? I guess not. That makes sense. Uh, very perceptive of you. She can't see it nor me either. In fact, she thinks Oliver's actually lost his goddamn mind talking to her. Really? So, so I'm invisible. What a strange feeling. Of course you're invisible. You're from another world, ain't you? Did you say something, Oliver? Uh, no, that's just your twin. No, I didn't. I'm just talking to myself, I guess. Anyways, how come you're here at Miss Lila's store, Myrtle? <laughs> I work here now. Miss Lila and my mom are friends, and when she heard that I was better, she said I could come work for her. <laughs> she loves free child labor. So, Myrtle, is Miss Lila around? She, sure, but she's been super busy right now, but I'm sure she'll be back soon. Huh, Miss Lila training? Wait, what? That's right, she started running. Oh, is she on a diet? <laughs> no, silly, she's exercising so she can eat even more. Okay. How do you mean? I'm a maniac, maniac, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, Myrtle, I'm back. Why is it in young Oliver? Hello, dearie. Good morning, Miss Lila. Myrtle, I can't wait any longer, would you? Oh, yes, Miss Lila. I'll go get it for you right now. Oh, it's not good. I just can't wait that long. I have some in the store, dear. You should stay out here and clean or something. My, I've never saw anybody so crazy about their favorite food. What was that? Did you say favorite food? Oh, wait, Ollie boy. I bet it's the same as eucalyptus. You're right. I, man. As someone who struggles to, like, actually lose weight, even though he... I work out. I said he like I'm a third fucking person. I'm losing my goddamn mind here. As someone who works out fairly regularly and tries to eat right and has been at the same weight for a long, long time. Um, I don't know. It's like work out to eat more. It kind of bugs me. Hey, everyone gets to live their life. Choose it to whatever they want is like more power to you. It's just like one of those things that's just like, I just don't get it. Right. As, 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 as like you know, the health problems I've had from being overweight my entire life is uh, substantial. Even though I've tried losing weight, it, it sucks, but it is what it is. Um, also, the knee and back and neck issues don't help. But anyways, yeah, I guess work out to eat more. She's selling ten pounds of potatoes for thirty-five cents, and three pounds of apples for fourteen cents. I know I commented to that on the first episode, but that is just actually mind-blowingly insane. Anyways, you're right. Let's go find out what it is. See you soon, Myrtle. Is that raw dough? Miss Layla, what is she eating? It's cheese. A That's cheese? cheese? That's right, dearie, and it's not for sale. None of it. It's all for little old me. I think that cheese is gone bad. The whole lot if you're not careful. Hurry up and grab some. Shopish. Okay. She's gonna bite your hand off. Could you give me a piece of your cheese? Uh, uh -huh. You know I'd do anything for you, dearie, but not Please. that. Just oh, one no, piece. No, no, no. Just one no. tiny I said little no. piece. Mine. Hey, with all your might. Uh, well, you guys can help. You can oh, grab oh, shit. Mine. Mine. Oh. I tell you. Oh, mine. Put her to sleep. Kind of a shock, huh? Sure is. I had no idea. Is there crack in that cheese? <laughs> it's better not to go near her when she's eating cheese. <sighs> so... The cow... version of her... is eating cheese? I mean, I get it, I get it, I guess, right? Sure, okay. I was gonna say, that kind of seems messed up, that a cow is eating and drinking their own milk. 
but I guess that does happen. Like we're talking about like children and stuff like that, you know, or babies, breast milk. They then then they grow out of it though. I mean, we drink cow's milk, but I don't think cows cows do. You know, baby calves will drink milk, sure, I and mean, then they grow out of that as well, and they eat grass and drink water. I don't know. It doesn't seem right, right? <laughs> I don't know. It's like I it was. I can't for some reason I'm comparing it to like a chicken eating a fried egg. It just it's different. That is different. But in my head, that seems for some reason that's being the same. I know that now. She bit my hand. Myrtle, Myrtle. Sounds like she needs my help. I better go inside. Goodbye now. Bye, Jeepers. What do we do now? Ms. Lila's store is the only place in town that sells cheese. Oliver, oh, hi, P. We kind of need some cheese. Cheese? That's right. It's in the Kyle Lips' favorite food. Who's he talking to? Must be his imaginary friend again. Here we flip and go. Huh. We can make it. Make our own cheese? I didn't say that. But yeah, with your magic. Lots and lots of cheese. But I can't. I don't know how. Yes, you do. Just try. Just try. You think that's really that easy? Yeah. But I don't even know I have a spell that he... Hey, wait! She's gone. Have fun talking to your imaginary friend, did you? All the boy? Better than talking to your real friends, was it? Better than talking with you, absolutely. Imaginary friend? You mean P? P, who's that? What do you mean? She was right here. I didn't see anyone. Maybe she, only you can see her, Oliver. Really? But how come? I mean, it's just like how Myrtle can, can't see me, but I can see her. Oh, that might be it, you know. I've never seen this P either. Anyways, what did P say to you, Oliver? Oh yeah, she still told me to use my magic because I'm a wizard. Oh, what's that? Make it with magic, you say? Well, she may be too shy to let us see her, but she ain't afraid to stick her neck out, uh, neck out of vice-wise. You mean it won't work? Nah, man, it'll work. The whole point of magic is to make the impossible possible, right? But I guess it's difficult with red ingredients, huh? But we do have them! We do? Of course we do! Back in Alma Moon, the fountain of milk! So we just... Use the milk to turn the uh, use magic to turn the milk into a fountain into cheese. I read that completely wrong. I know. Let's go back to our world. Or, you know, well, your world, not our world. Go straight to the fountain of milk. Okay. Y'all have any quests? No. Okay. Great. I still don't know why. I feel like it's very uncomfortable to have a cow eating and drinking its own product. I don't know why. Like, I know there's some humans out there that will totally pay for and drink breast milk. Like, I get it. At the same time, it still kind of, like, does not seem right to me. Uh, here. <laughs> Wait, what did that say? Oh, I thought this said a new cheese. I was like, oh no, what are we doing? Do we need a spell? Hey, I need some cheese spells. Alright, thanks for being completely useless again. Here? Here. 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 So these are the fountains of milk. Gee, is that real milk for real? How does it go bad in this heat? Of course, the freshest, creamiest milk there is, and there's so much of it, you can just keep trying until you get it right. Keep trying? You think I can't do it, huh? I didn't mean anything by it. Come on, you gotta conjure up some cheese, focus! Now, do you know how the cheese is made? Sure, you heat some milk, then you add some lemon and salt, and then you skim the solid part off the top, and it turns into the cheese. I guess? Blimey, a regular cheese manga we are. This should be cheesy peasy then. All you need to do is the all you need is the right smell, right? Sure. Let me look. Fireball. So fireball. Secret ingredient. Okay. Look at that. It's flipping working. It really is. You're good at magic, Oliver. But you can even make sweets if you put your minds to it. And cakes. Oh, I could just eat a... 
Stop that, I'm trying to concentrate. Could solve world wow. hunger, pretty much. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. Tame the giant cheese. What about all this other shit? Look at the flipping size of that, Mon. And you went and made some sweets and all. That was Esther's fault. <laughs> I bet you wanted to make some, wanted some too, didn't you? You shouldn't distract someone when they're trying to cast a spell. Oh, don't be like that. Now we can go and see the Kyle Lifter. Our present's a little on the large side, but I don't suppose it will matter. Uh, the bigger the better, I reckon. Let's, pl pl let's please her with cheese. Did we get to keep any of that candy? No. Fine. Hi, I got cheese. Oh, you are, yeah, you couldn't, you didn't find any cheese? She was gonna execute your ass. I hope you know that if you should return without any cheese. Okay. Oh, anime. She is very gigantic. Shadar, the stinking rock bag. What is that divine aroma? Abba! Hear your majesty. Bountiful Kaulifa. His humble servants come. She's bountiful. This is a nice one. Why is she so large and in charge? Yes, sweet child. Bring it to us now. There's a good boy. Please. Huh? You want me to take it to her? Quickly! Now. She's gonna eat me! Oh my god, is the next dungeon inside her? Hurry! Dude, there hasn't been a JRPG with a dungeon inside a person in a long time. I would not go anywhere near that. Like, are you, yeah, no. Oliver, run! It's highly inappropriate to crawl on her top of her like that. <laughs> Delicious cheesy wheeze. Do you have more for us? More? More! Bring uh, us one uh, more! Uh, well, I just need more milk. Uh, was Kaulifa, if you continue to eat so prodigiously, I fear you may burst. A bull! We are hungry! Your and throwing a tantrum. Heard, Majesty, but I fear for your bovinity's well-being. That there is one utterly broken heart. What? Broken but... stomach. She might not look broken hearted, but depending on which bit of heart is missing, all manner of weird things can happen. See, what her majesty is lacking right now is a drop of restraint. Restraint? That's right. And without it, she can't control the urge to stuff her right royal face. We won't be getting any I mean, I've definitely been there. This out. You mark my words. Okay. So we need to find some restraint somewhere, huh? That's quick of you, Ollie boy. You have been paying attention after all. Let's go, then, you? shall we? Please, you must do all you can to help her majesty. Why is my book just sitting there? None of you could carry that for me? That seems highly illogical to do that. Restraint, huh? Can you think of anyone with a lot of restraint, Esther? Huh, let me think. There must be someone. Oh, uh, we can use the locket to try and look for someone, but this is a big town, man. Let's try the shopkeepers first. Are you kidding me? This town isn't that big. It's smaller than Ding Dong Dell. Oh, yeah, is that so? Well, well, well. So they got into the palace, did they? And what did they do? They talk about? Uh, did they now? Okay, keep me posted on what's on inside. Uh, my payment? Uh, don't worry, you'll get your reward. Uh, the next time we meet, I'll score you something decent. Do you mean that you'll steal something? No, no, don't be stupid. I'm just saying a figure of speech. Now, contrary to the job at hand, will you? I'm counting kind of you to be my eyes and ears. Don't let me down. Why are you listening to this hobo person? Let me guess. Oh, there's a quest. There's multiple quests. What? Okay, so there's multiple quests. Uh, hi, Hoodle. 
Do you need something? Mixing bana bananas and with milk and yogurt? Okay. A lot of restraints. Okay, so you're just like... Uh, so you're not actually quest. You're just like... Extra information for her about the quest. That's fine by me. I'll definitely go to all the bl glowing blue dots before we go to... Uh, the, the star. I'm assuming maybe... In the original version, they didn't have like the star right on top of the the the, the weapon smith dude. Huh? Yeah, I would imagine so. Anyways, given given the fact that we know where we need to go by the star, so I'm assuming as soon as we get restraint, uh, that dude's gonna come and try to screw with us, right? I should probably save before we go in there, then. Fine by me. Do I need a heal? I probably should heal. Hello. Okay. So, thanks for nothing, but I am gonna stay here because I do need, uh, my MP back, and I'll save as well. Uh, should I rearrange some of my familiars? I don't think so. No one needs to evolve yet, aside from Bird, but... Bird is... Well, one, the word, and two, needs to level up five more times. Um, you know what? I guess that does give you a bit of more magic boost. You can, you know what? You can have this, yeah. Okay. Uh, sh oh wait. Oh, shit, dude, you can't, you can't actually have... I'm sorry, you can't actually have this, because... We need that for the quest, I'm sorry, hopefully we get to keep it. I mean, I guess I could have that equipped on you right now? That's true? Yeah, we can have that equipped on you right now. And then, when we go back to Castaway Cove, we can take that off. Sure, sure, sure. Hi. Can I have some of your restraint? A bull, of course. Oh. Huh. That doesn't seem like restraint to me. That's not restraint, that's obedience. What? Maybe I'm misinterpreting what you mean by restraint. It's like obedience slash loyalty. Restraint is like holding one's back self from like oh many things. It could be holding one's back self like from temptation, from spending too much, from eating bad foods, to uh, hell, not working out too much. You need to know restraint when to quit there. Also restraint when it comes to one job and not overworking oneself. But Going out and doing and finding, yeah, uh, this seems more like obedience slash loyalty or even hard worker. And, well, yeah, it doesn't seem like a restraint. Maybe I should have read it out loud and I, I didn't and I, I misunderstood it. I don't know. Uh, Mr. Dual Sir, we found out somebody with a whole lot of, we, we found out about somebody with a whole lot of restraint. You did. That's excellent news. You must tell me, who is it? It's you! Me? But impossible. Oh, not in the slice, it's, uh, Peter, patience. Look at all the boys' locket. It's glowing up with the street. Restraint doesn't mean patient. What? Would you let us borrow some of your restraint? Uh, well, of course you may. For her modesty. Okay. This might hurt.
unless you're comparing restraint to patience as in like someone is really really getting on your nerves and you want to hit them but you don't because you're an adult and you're showing restraint with your anger and i guess that could be patience as well uh here have some restraint So <laughs> like, ah, all oh, that cheese has clogged my arteries. Upsy daisy. <laughs> you are a very big lady. Yeah, that's your knees giving out. We're gonna die. Oh my God, boob physics. <laughs> Uh, well, I actually was not expecting to see boob fixes in this game. Goodness, we feel quite marvelous. Whatever can have happened to us? I don't know, you've been in bed for apparently months. These humble servants made your Majesty's ailing heart whole again. Are you normally this big or is it from all the cheese you ate? Because that's not how cheese works. I pray that our beloved Khalifa's most generous appetite has now abated. And I'm not saying big as in fat, I mean gigantic. She is a giant woman. Cow woman. What? Oh god, do you have like udders? No, I'm not talking about... You know what? Never mind, don't answer that. Well now, we still wish to enjoy the finer things in life. Jesus. Well, fun... So, not, some cheese is finer things. Sure, some. Not not normal cheese though. We have come to feel that a measure of gastronomic restraint may serve to set a good example for our dear subjects. Your words are music to the ears of your people. Al Mamun can return to its former magnificence. Indeed it can, and we are simply itching to return to our labors. Yeah, I mean the itching's probably from not bathing for a few months. Munificent Khalifa, should these humble servants not be rewarded for their services to Al Mamun? Give me my own army! Indeed they should! Boy, is there something you desire? Unlimited power? Yes, Your Majesty, if it's not too much trouble. Well, what is it? We'd like to borrow your ship. Ship? A little floaty wooty. What does that even yes, mean? Of course. But of course you may borrow it. It is of little use to Yeah, us. seeing how you're the size of the ship. We will write a letter to the captain ordering him to help you in any way. Are you a wizard too? You will? Gee. Thank you, your majesty. Tidy, the boat is in the bag. No, it's in the water. So that's gonna get stolen, Why isn't it? Why in the world would a dear little thing like you have need of our floaty wooty? Yeah. So you're a wizard. Thank you. Thank you, your majesty. Well, we asked you a question, did we not? Well, uh... Go on, man. Okay. We need to find one of the great sages. The great sages? Hmm. Yes, we are aware. She's never heard of a sage in a goddamn life. We know of them, do we not? Indeed, most learned Khalifa. But little has been heard of such men since the magical arts fell from favor. What are you talking about? She just conjured a goddamn pedestal and a paper and... A letter. Why do you seek the great sages, Travelers? To take on Sadar. We need their help. We need their power to defeat Shadar. <gasps> what? Is is something wrong? We work for Sadar. <laughs> we are not unamused. So that means you are amused. 
but we can see that you speak in earnest. Very well. We will tell you what we know. You will? I can't wait to hear it. There were once four great sages. Okay, one snow a soul seared, one's her one father, who's completely useless. By... So there's two others? Mom. Oh. But we know of one who did not perish. You do? Well. He lives in the land of Hamlin. A detestable and warlike realm. Can't wait. Uh, but he is a handsome young thing. We even keep a picture of him. That's not weird. A bull? You have a bull keep a picture of him? He's got a bit of a crush on the poor lad. Well, unless he... If, if, it's gonna be a crush if, like, he's not even, like, so a quarter of her size. Ages, huh? How tall is she? <laughs> Two and a half, that is, Ollie boy. That's lucky. That's a sage? Okay, cool. <laughs> now, before you take your leave, we shall teach you some magic. Sweet. Are all the rulers here, like, magic users, I guess? Really? You're a wizard too. Did you not just see her spawn a pedestal out of thin air and tele telepathically give us a letter? <laughs> well, not a fully fledged wizard, perhaps, but we royals all know a few select spells. King Tom undoubtedly has a trick or two up his own kingly sleeves. Yeah. He sure does. He taught me some real neat magic. It's all right. <laughs> How quaint. We hope that you will find our own still neater. Here. A uh, nature's tongue, kinky. Converse, uh, converse freely with flora and fauna. Uh, burden. Add extra heft to a particular object or person. Okay. Oh, yeah, man. That's a cracker, that is. A real classic, like... Sounds like it's good for pranks. It's your lucky day, Oliver. Sure. Yeah. May it serve you well. So I can talk to plants and animals now? Do be careful out there now. I mean, I already could talk to a tree. Yes, your majesty. Thank you, your majesty. Bye. My god, you're almost as tall as your bed. Can I even talk to you? Do I need to go up here? Huh, okay. Well, have fun with, uh... Yeah, I'm, I get... Are we in your bedroom, or is this just your palace? Explain this with a... I mean, I'm guessing she's always been that tall. Because the doorways are so huge. Alright, so I'm assuming we need to go back to uh, Castaway Cove. We'll do that next time, though. Thanks for watching. I will see y'all then. Bye!